force of friction the contact force that acts between two moving objects or one moving object and the stationary surface that brings the moving object to rest is called friction it is the force that opposes the relative motion between two surfaces in contact the force of friction always acts on all the moving objects and direction is always opposite to the direction of motion acts on both the surfaces always opposes the applied force if one applied the force along the left friction acts along the right if one applies the force along the left direction the friction acts along the left direction as here in both the cases the force opposes the motion of the book spring balance is used to measure force of friction factors affecting friction nature of the surface let us perform an activity tie a string around a brick pull the brick by a spring balance and note the reading that tells us the force applied to pull the brick now wrap a piece of polythene around the brick and repeat the activity and note the reading now repeat the same activity by wrapping a piece of jute bag around the brick what do you observe force of friction is maximum when the brick is wrapped in jute than when not wrapped and is minimum when brick is wrapped in polythene now perform one more activity as being performed here here again the pencil cell covers different distances on different surface that means the force of friction depends on the nature of the surface in fact friction is caused by irregularity on the two surfaces in contact more the irregularities on the two surfaces more is the friction but why every surface has irregularities even the smooth surfaces have a large number of irregularities on them irregularities on the two surfaces back into one another when we attempt to move any surface we have to apply a force to overcome interlocking on rough surfaces there are a large number of irregularities so the force of friction is greater if the surface involved is rough force of friction will increase if two surfaces are pressed harder static and sliding friction the force required to overcome friction at the instant an object starts moving from rest is a measure of static friction the force required to keep the object moving with the same speed is a measure of sliding friction what is easier to move a box from rest 
or to move it when it's already in motion. When the box starts sliding, the contact point on its surface do not get enough time to lock into the contact points on the floor. So, the sliding friction is smaller than the static friction. So, it is easier to move the box already in motion than to get it started. Friction a necessary evil. Friction reduces efficiency. It wears out materials like screw, ball bearings and soles, yet it is necessary. Friction is very important for many activities. One can't write with pen or pencil if there were no friction. Due to rough surface, when chalk is rubbed on blackboard, chalk particles stick to the blackboard and we are able to read. If an object started moving, it would not stop if there is no friction. Had there been no friction between the tyres of automobiles and the road, they could not be started or stopped or turned to change the direction of motion. You could not walk if there had been no friction. Friction can also produce heat. When you struck a matchstick against the rough surface, it catches fire. When you vigorously rub your palms together for a few minutes, you feel warm and so feel good in winters. But when a machine is operated, heat generated causes much wastage of energy. So we say, Friction is a necessary evil. Increasing and reducing friction. What is the cause of friction? Irregularities present in surface and interlocking of irregularities in surfaces in contact. So, to increase the friction, we must increase the roughness of the surface, more grooves to provide better grip. That is why the sole of our shoe is grooved. The tires are treaded. Same is the function of brake lever in bicycles. When you are riding a bicycle, Brake pads do not touch the wheels. When we press the brake lever, the brake pads arrest the motion of the rim due to friction. The wheel stops moving. Kabaddi players rub their hands with soil for a better grip of their opponents. Gymnasts apply some coarse substance on their hands to increase friction for better grip. In some situations, friction is undesirable and we would want to minimize it. We need to increase smoothness and reduce roughness of the surface. That is why we sprinkle fine powder on carom board. When few drops of oil are poured on hinges of a door, the door moves smoothly. A bicyclist and a motor mechanic put grease between the moving parts of these machines to reduce the friction and increase efficiency.
interlocking of irregularities is avoided to a great extent and movement becomes smooth. Such substances which reduce friction are called lubricants. In some machines, an air cushion between moving parts is used to reduce friction. One way of reducing friction is using a wheel as seen in luggages that are fitted with rollers. As you have seen here, when one body rolls over the surface of another body, the resistance to its motion is called rolling friction. Rolling reduces friction and therefore it is convenient to pull luggage fitted with rollers. That is why wheel is said to be the greatest invention of mankind. This is also the reason why ball bearings are used between hubs and axles of cooling fans and bicycles. Fluid friction Air and water and other liquids also exert force of friction when objects move through them. A frictional force exerted by fluids is also called drag and in this process objects lose energy. Frictional force on an object in a fluid depend on the speed of object with respect to fluid, the shape of the object, nature of the fluid. Fluid friction can be minimized by giving suitable shapes to bodies moving in fluids and that is the shape of a bird. That is why there is a similarity in shape of an airplane and a bird as this shape would make the loss of energy in overcoming friction very less. 